Hi, I recorded this about five years ago, which illustrates for me that consciousness, peace, and love, and spirit are timeless. Enjoy. You know, many times throughout the day, we hear on the news who got shot, who got killed, all the division that's happening in our country and in the world. All of the hate, the division, news, watching reality TV. I suppose nothing's wrong with any of those, but it's important that we're really careful of what we hear. So in the spirit of that, I intend to just share some words of encouragement today because we deserve it. Because we all have dreams, right? We're believing for things we want to accomplish, problems we hope will turn around. Maybe it's to see our families restored. It could be you want more confidence. You want to lose weight or feel better about yourself. It might be you can't seem to get over a painful situation. Or you want to leave your job. You want to start a business or do the thing that people told you <laughs> wouldn't work. But sometimes when it goes on day after day, month after month, hell, year after year, and nothing seems to change, we tell ourselves it's never going to happen. Nothing's going to change. This is how it's supposed to be. These were the cards I've been dealt. It's discouraging. It's defeating. It's downright draining. And it's painful. So what do we do? We begin to look for things to bring us that feeling of happiness and joy. You know, a partner who can take care of our needs or a makeover to help us feel good about ourselves. Maybe it's new clothes, new friends, a new car, a new house, a new spouse. I mean, we look to find somewhere we feel like we belong. We actually start to change how we look, how we act, how we interact, how we communicate, and how we cope. We acquire the things to declare, we've made it, I'm a success. But why do we follow this common path? It's all because of the pain. You know, the pain of a situation you feel you have no control over, or someone who won't listen to you, or someone who doesn't even see you for you, or hears you, or understands you. It isn't just a partner or a spouse or a significant other. It's your parents your siblings, maybe your coworker or a colleague or a boss, or because someone said no and you feel rejected. It's all because of the pain. Pain can be excruciating. Pain can run you into the ground. It could stop you in your tracks. But pain, my friends, is necessary. It's life. And if you stop and deconstruct it, it could be the beginning of an awakening. So when you identify the pain, just don't go through it, grow through it. Don't waste your pain because pain isn't there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, expand you, develop you, but you have to allow it to. What I know is we're not taught to feel our feelings. Cover it up, hide it, suppress it, numb it. Do anything but feel it. You remember when you were a kid, right? I mean, you felt every feeling. And when you cried to express what you were feeling, you remember the instructions? Don't cry, you're a big boy. Don't cry, you're a strong girl. Turn that frown upside down. And so the conditioning began. Being taught what to think rather than how to think. 
but don't be upset at them. They were doing the best they could. So here's the bottom line. We awaken when we become who we truly are. We seem to be on this mission to find our purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. Kind of like trying to find our lost self. We want nothing more than to feel the deepest connection with ourselves and with others. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want that? But you know what's so ironic? You know that thing you're looking for? You had it once. You're seeking and you're searching for that special something. You had it once. When you were a child who knew its wonder and grace, who wasn't afraid to be naturally themselves, who would stop, stare, gaze, and explore, who would create without a worry about what others would say, who would express themselves and do it fully, who didn't see labels, color, race, or economic status. Can't you see? As you began to be yourself, it actually made others around you uncomfortable. It didn't fit into their agenda or belief system or life outlook or their own lens of life. You began to unlearn who you really are. So it's time. Stand up, speak up, rise up, wake up. It's not too late to become all that you were created to be. That dream is alive. This is your time. This is your moment. Your destiny is calling. That's why you've listened to this entire recording. Don't resist it. Embrace it. Receive it. Stand in it. Just be in it. What's it? It's the present moment. Because when you really, really think about it, that's all we really are. This moment. And in this moment, you can choose love.